let's get started with calculating with ratio and proportion in this video I will show you how ratio and proportion problems work and uh, how they can present a solution to mathematical problems a reminder that before we start anything that ratio and proportion are fractions and we will be using a format that looks like that that's 7 over 9 or 7 proportionate to 9 either which way it is division at its heart another thing uh, another reminder is that with ratio and proportion three pieces of information is always given and one piece of information is to be found out is the requested information the unknown let's get started with ratio and proportion and equivalent fractions the fraction 8 over 16 is not at its lowest term this can be reduced because 8 is an even number and 16 is also an even number since they are even numbers they both divide by 2 and we can reduce them by a factor of 4 and when we do that we get that number how did we get there? Well, 8 divides by 4 easily to get to 2 and 16 also divides by 4 to get to 4 thus we reduced 816 to 2 fourths or 2 quarters now I don't want to reduce 2 quarters to its lowest terms which would be 1 over 2 but it is mathematically possible if we further divide the 4 by 2 again and the numerator gets divided by the same number again however we're not going to be using uh, this 1 over 2 version of the fraction we are not going to be using it in its lowest terms just because I didn't want a digit 1 in the calculations so that's the only reason now with this fraction uh, sorry with this little equation where there is two equivalent fractions are lined up uh, we can calculate the values of it 8 divided by 16 is uh, half is uh, 0 0.5 and 2 divided by 4 is also 0 0.5 is half and uh, we know that half does equal half the amounts on both sides of the equal sign are preserved 8 over 16 is half just as 2 over 4 is also half <clears throat> I want to point out three facts with solving when it comes to solving ratio and proportion we can do three interesting things uh, with these fractions we can do an upside down flip upside down flip that's one of the things and how does that look like this is how it looks like 16 over 8 equals 4 over 2 now we change the fraction from 8 over 16 a proper fraction into an improper fraction now it's 16 over 8 don't worry about it what I'm only concerned about is that the values of this division and this division the values of them are preserved and they indeed equal 16 divided by 2 that's sorry 16 divided by 8 is 2 4 divided by 2 is also 2 and 2 equals 2 so the quantities are preserved I know 
and I understand that we changed the fraction from 816 to 16 over 8 but don't worry about that part the only thing I'm concerned about is that both sides on the equal sign are the same now 2 is not the same as half don't worry about that one either as long as this amount is the same as this amount we're fine and uh, just as this amount is the same as this amount we can do two more interesting switches let me show you another one we can write up um, say two and sixteen can trade places and when they do that eight divided by two equals 16 divided by 4 let's see if this equation really works 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 16 divided by 4 is also 4 so the uh, amounts are preserved on the left side as it is on the right side now we have totally new amounts we have four here, two there, and half there. Don't worry about it. All I'm concerned about is for solving ratio and proportion is that this amount be exactly the same as this amount. I'm not relating these to any of the previous versions. I'm only relating the numbers two, eight, four, and 16 with each other. There is one more flip we can do and the 8 and the 4 can trade places here and I can write it up as if they do so then it is a 4 over 16 and that becomes a 2 over 8 now 4 over 16 let's do it in a calculator so you, so you verify this one with me 4 over 16 is 0 0.25 is a quarter I'm just gonna write 0 0.25 here how about 2 over 8 2 divided by 8 equals 0 0.25 so the amounts again are preserved this one this fraction has the same value as this fraction Now, I'm going to be using the words fraction occasionally, however, uh, because it is ratio and proportion, the four numbers that make up these fractions, the 2, 4, 8 and the 16, are really independent amounts. So these are in a fraction format, but they are not really fractions. These are four independent amounts, and this is four possible combinations how these amounts can equal with each other in combinations of two when it comes to division now how do these facts help us with solving ratio and proportion ratio and proportion problems will be written up in this format where one amount will go in a numerator another amount will be in the denominator a third amount will be in a numerator and a fourth amount will be in the denominator so for example if we don't have 16 say here just pretend it's not there how can we use the digits 2 4 and 8 to equal to 16 how can we use again the digits 2 4 and 8 to equal to 16 there's a couple of combinations that you can do on this one for example you can uh, 16 equals you can take 4 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then you have to multiply this 2 by 8 4 divided by 2 that's 2 2 by 8 16 this is one combination how you can uh, use the digits 2, 4 and 8 
to create a missing amount this one is missing now here to come up with the missing amount okay so 16 is now missing from this equivalent fraction uh, slash radio ratio and proportion uh, setup here another way to create 16 to come up with the unknown amount here that I uh, kind of scribbled over is you can take you can start with 8 and divide 8 by 2 8 divided by 2 is 4 and once you have 4 you have to times it by 4 so that's another way to come up with a solution and uh, there really isn't an original third and fourth way you can see both of these involve one division and one multiplication one division and one multiplication and in multiplication we know that the 4 and the 8 here can trade places as it, as it did here you can see how it's done there and we can also do it uh, in a way that first 8 and 4 are multiplied is 32 and then we divide by 2 in all of these combinations 2 is always a divisor here 2 is always always a divisor and the 4 and 8 are always multiplied so that's the common thread here and uh, if we wanted to map out some of these solutions when 4 and 8 are multiplied in different combinations when this amount is the unknown the 8 and the 4 multiply and the 2 is always a divisor if we have uh, an amount that's missing in a ratio and proportion because we have three pieces of information given and one of them is missing if we have uh, an amount missing that's on the uh, bottom here just pretend that the number four is missing here and the number four is missing here and the 16 is here to come up with four you would need to take uh, let me where do I write it four equals you would need to take two divided by eight and times it by 16 let's see if it works 2 divided by 8 times 16 equals 4 indeed what I did is uh, what I did is I created a new path where this amount was divided by that amount and then the total of it was and there was a division here and the total of it got multiplied with that 16 amount when an unknown amount is here in this position here either here in the denominator or here in this denominator it is harder to see the solution because you're gonna have to work upside down with a division and the multiplication that way when the 16 was missing you just leave this part as is as a division and you do one multiplication it's easier now I have everything written everywhere in the next video we'll get started with some uh, practice problems